Hello everyone, Lisa here, and I'm back with another Steam Deck tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods in Bellatro, and I'm going to use the multiplayer mod as my example. I have this guide pulled up for the Bellatro multiplayer mod, and I have another one that just shows you how to install mods in general for Bellatro on the Steam Deck. Alright, so first, we're going to want to install Lovely. So I'm going to use that link from the guide. Let's scroll down and we want to use the Windows version. So we're going to click on the Windows version and download. And then we're going to install Steam Modded. Scroll down and we're going to find the latest release button. Click on that and click on this source code zip. And that's just going to download to our downloads folder. And last but not least, you're going to want the mod itself. Some of these mods are on Nexus Mods or other sites, but in this case, this one's just a GitHub. So I'm going to go over here to Latest Release, and we're going to download the Bellatro Multiplayer zip file. And now we're just going to head over to our Downloads folder. You can highlight all of these, right click, go to Extract, and select Extract here. Go ahead and delete all of those. We don't need them anymore. So now you should be left with three things. Version.dll, smods folder, and Bellatro multiplayer mod folder, or whatever mod you're using. You don't have to use this one. So now I'm going to go over here to home, right click, open in a new tab, click on the home folder, and you're going to want to go over to this hamburger menu right here. Going to want to click on that and click on Show Hidden Files. Now we're going to find .steam. Click on that. Going to go over to Steam. Find Steam Apps. And Compact Data. Now there's a lot of folders in here, so rather than find this manually, I recommend you just type 237. 9780 and just enter. If you run into any issues, you might have to put a forward slash at the end. And it should take you right here. So we want to go to this PFX folder and click on drive underscore C up to the users folder. We got Steam user, app data, roaming, Bellatro. All right, so your Bellatro folder should look like this. I'm going to head back over to Downloads. I'm going to take this version.dll file and move it right here to the Bellatro folder. Now we're going to right click, Create New Folder, and you're going to want to type this exact. It's going to be Mods with a capital M. Make sure everything is exact because Linux is case sensitive. So if you type mods with a lowercase m or anything else, it won't know what you're talking about and you might run into trouble. Right, you're going to want to open the mods folder, back to downloads, and you're going to want to move both this Bellatro multiplayer folder and smods to your mods folder. Go. That's all here now. All right, and last but not least, you're going to want to go to Steam, find Bellatro, Go over to this gear icon over here, click on properties, and in the launch options you're going to type, and again, case does matter, all caps, wine, dll, overrides, wine dll overrides equals double quotes. And this part is all lowercase. Version equals n comma b and double quote space percent command percent. So it should look exactly like what I have here. You just want to close this, and then if you've done everything correctly, you can just launch the game, and it should look a little different like this, and this, 
And then the game should launch as it would normally. All right, you'll also see this message. You should have a mods tab here. You can click on that and you can see exactly what you have enabled. In the case of the multiplayer mod, all you'll notice is when you click play, you're gonna see some new options. You can create a lobby, join a lobby, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Anyway, hope you found this helpful guys and I'll see you in the next video.